In this video, we'll be taking a look at three NBA games happening on November 8, 2024, and providing you with free team picks and total picks for each one of those games. So six picks in total. Welcome back to Cash Out Sports. Let's dive right into it. Oh, and don't forget to subscribe and to click the bell icon to get notified as soon as these videos get released so that you have more time to plan out your bets as we provide these videos on a daily basis. I can guarantee that you'll have all the important information that you'll need on these three NBA games. After fully watching this video or thing before we start if you would like to gain access to our best exclusive sports picks to take your journey to the next level then check out our patreon in the link down below where we offer our best single picks parley picks and much more now let's get started Golden State Warriors vs. Cleveland Cavaliers Friday night features a highly anticipated matchup in the NBA as the Golden State Warriors face off against the Cleveland Cavaliers in an exciting cross-conference clash. With both teams off to impressive starts, this game is shaping up to be one of the season's most compelling showdowns so far. The Warriors, known for their fast-paced, high-energy style of play, will take on a Cavaliers squad that has been dominant on both ends of the court. The Warriors might be facing some challenges on the injury front, Brandon Podzimski, D'Anthony Melton, and Draymond Green are all listed as questionable, meaning their availability for this game is uncertain. On the other side, the Cavaliers are without Max Strews, and Dean Wade's status is also questionable. Despite these potential setbacks, both teams have come out strong this season. Golden State boasts a 7-1 record both straight up and against the spread, while Cleveland has been even better at 9-0 straight up and 8-1 against the spread. This contest presents a true early season meeting between two of the league's top performers teams. Given the context of this matchup, I'm leaning toward backing the Warriors, especially since they're receiving more than a possession in terms of points. I believe they have a realistic shot at winning outright, but even if they fall short, I expect them to keep the game close, likely within three points. Analyzing the gameplay, the Warriors' defense stands out as a critical factor. They currently rank second in the NBA in defensive efficiency, allowing just 101 points per 100 possessions. In comparison, the Cavaliers sit fifth in defensive efficiency, giving up 106.9 points per 100 possessions. Additionally, the Warriors hold an advantage in rebounding, with a rate of 51.6%, compared to the Cavaliers' 50.5%. Both teams have strong cases to win this game, but the fact that the Warriors are getting points tips the scale for me. Given their recent performance against teams like the Celtics, it's clear that Curry and his squad are still capable of raising their game for high-stakes matchups. Therefore, the Golden State Warriors to cover the spread as underdogs is our full-game side pick. This matchup also stirs memories of the classic NBA Finals battles between these teams from 2015 to 2018. While both teams rank in the middle of the league in terms of pace, 12th and 14th respectively, they have a shared tendency to extend defensive possessions deep into the shot clock. On average, the Warriors allow their opponents to take 14.8 seconds per possession on defense, which ranks them 26th in the league, while the Cavaliers are close behind, ranking 25th with an average defensive possession length of 14.7 seconds. Seconds. It might be tempting to lean toward the over on points given the shooting capabilities and strong performances of both teams this season. However, despite their offensive prowess, both teams are ranked in the top 10 in defensive rating, with the Warriors' three-point defense leading the NBA. I foresee a hard-fought game with both teams striving to make a statement early in the season. This defensive intensity and competitive spirit should contribute to a lower-scoring game. Consequently, expecting a closely contested, defense-oriented game under the projected total was our full game total pick. Milwaukee Bucks vs. New York Knicks The New York Knicks are set to host the Milwaukee Bucks in a highly anticipated Eastern Conference matchup on Friday night, with Madison Square Garden as the backdrop. The Bucks have had a tough start to the season, hosting a disappointing 1-6 record, which has fallen far short of what fans and analysts expected from this team. Meanwhile, the Knicks have not been stellar either, holding a 3-4 record that reflects both progress and room for improvement. Last season, the two teams met five times, with Milwaukee claiming victory in three of those games. However, the Knicks won the final two matchups, suggesting they might carry some momentum into this game. With these factors in play, Friday's game is set to be a marquee event for fans 
fans, one that promises excitement and a competitive edge. Heading into this game, both teams are dealing with key injuries. The Bucks will be without one of their star players, K.A. Tris Middleton, who is still sidelined, leaving Milwaukee short on firepower. On the other side, the Knicks are missing Precious Achiwa, and guard Cameron Payne is listed as questionable, adding some uncertainty to their lineup as well. Milwaukee's last game on Thursday night saw them narrowly edge out the Utah Jazz, with Giannis Antetokounmpo and Damian Lillard combining for an impressive 65 points to secure the win. However, replicating that offensive burst against the Knicks' disciplined defense on Friday will be challenging, especially as the Knicks come in well-rested after their last game on Wednesday. The Knicks, motivated by back-to-back -back losses, will look to exploit Milwaukee's lack of interior defense, especially with Jalen Brunson leading the charge. Without Middleton, the Bucks lack a reliable third scoring option, a gap the Knicks are poised to take advantage of with a balanced defense. Adding to Milwaukee's challenges is the fact that they not only have to play on the road but also do so with a shorthanded roster, potentially missing two starters. The Bucks have struggled with scoring depth, which could be a significant disadvantage against a Knicks team with several double-figure scorers even off the bench. Additionally, Milwaukee has been shaky on the defensive end, an area where New York has excelled offensively, ranking in the top five in various scoring categories. This favorable matchup for the Knicks will be a chance for them to build on their past success, as they won and covered the spread in their last two meetings with the Bucks. With that momentum on their side, the Knicks seem well positioned for a strong showing in this first matchup of the season. The Bucks have arguably been one of the league's biggest disappointments so far, and during a six-game losing streak before defeating the struggling Utah Jazz in their latest outing, the Knicks, by contrast, have shown more stability and resilience. Despite a recent loss, they played well with standout performances like Carl Anthony Towns' 34-point game. Given Milwaukee's ongoing struggles and New York's solid home court advantage, the New York Knicks to win and cover the spread as favorites is our full-game side pick. Offensively, the Knicks bring a variety of scoring threats, which could spell trouble for a Bucks defense that has ranked among the league's worst in recent weeks. New York's offense has several advantageous matchups against Milwaukee, and it's likely they will score freely. While the Bucks have faced challenges on their own offensive end, they'll go up against a New York defense that has also had some inconsistencies. Damian Lillard, given the green light for a high-scoring night, could help the Bucks keep pace, especially considering that the last two meetings between these teams last season saw the over hit. So far this season, the over has hit in Milwaukee games when the total has been set at 229 points or fewer, and Friday's matchup could continue that trend, especially with Milwaukee on the second night of a back-to-back -back and potentially struggling on defense. In Knicks games, the over has hit in four of seven contests. Despite being the slowest-paced team in the league, New York will likely be sped up by Milwaukee, which ranks as the 12th fastest team. New York's offensive depth and Milwaukee's pace are likely to make this a high-scoring affair, making over the projection projected total our full game total pick. Brooklyn Nets vs. Boston Celtics The Brooklyn Nets are gearing up for a challenging matchup against the reigning NBA champions, the Boston Celtics, on Friday night in Boston. Entering this game, the Nets hold a balanced record of 4-4 and are coming off a solid win in their last outing. Meanwhile, the Celtics have been strong in the early part of the season, posting a 7-2 record. However, Boston faced a setback on Wednesday, suffering their second loss of the season to the Golden State Warriors. Both teams are dealing with notable absence due to injuries. The Nets remain without Bajan Bogdanovic and Trenton Watford, who continue to recover, while the Celtics will be missing key players Jalen Brown and Chris Tapps Porzingis. Under the guidance of coach Jordi Fernandez, the Nets have started to hit their stride, reaching a .500 record after a somewhat slow start to the season. Offensively, the Nets have shown improvement, shooting 35.8% from three-point range, which is respectable by league standards, and they are holding opponents to a similar percentage from beyond the arc. Though Boston is known for its heavy reliance on three-point shooting, the Nets are riding a wave of strong performances over the past week. With four consecutive days off, Brooklyn is expected to bring renewed energy and intensity on the defensive end. They currently rank eighth in offensive rating after eight games, which suggests they are capable of keeping pace with the Celtics' high-scoring offense. Brooklyn has been quietly performing well, especially over the last several games. They picked up a gritty win against the Memphis Grizzlies in their previous matchup, which likely bolstered their confidence. Conversely, the Celtics have managed to keep winning despite a growing list of injured players, but they entered this game 
game on the heels of a tough loss to the Warriors. Historically, the Celtics have had little trouble overwhelming the Nets, winning several matchups decisively. Yet, despite some inconsistency, the Nets have been reliable for NBA betters, with a 6-2 record against the spread this season. The Celtics, meanwhile, have been less reliable in this regard, holding a 2-2 record against the spread as double-digit favorites. With the Nets having had several days of rest since their last game on Monday, they should be fresh and well-prepared to face Boston, which is currently regarded as one of the top teams in the league. While it may be a tall order to expect an outright win from Brooklyn, they have a good chance of keeping the game competitive and staying within a close range of the Celtics. Given the substantial point spread, the Brooklyn Nets to cover the spread as underdogs is our full game side pick. Defensively, Brooklyn has stepped up over their last three games, allowing an average of 107 points per game, a significant improvement after their sluggish start to the season. Dennis Schroeder and Cameron Johnson have been instrumental on the perimeter, providing strong defensive efforts. The Nets play at a relatively slow pace, ranking 25th in the league, which could work to their advantage against the Celtics. Boston is capable of scoring in quick bursts, especially against fast-paced teams, but if Brooklyn can limit the total number of possessions and control the paint with Nick Claxton, the game may not reach the projected high score. Thus, under the projected total is our full game total pick. That's all for now, so if you have any other games you would like reviewed, then leave a comment down below with the game you would like analyzed, subscribe to our channel, leave a like on this video, and we'll get to it as soon as we possibly can. We would also love to hear your opinion on the picks presented to you in this video, whether you agree or disagree with them, so leave a comment down below and do let us know.